and welcome back to WCCF Tech everyone this is Keith once again and today well it didn't take long after the release of the RX 480 for Nvidia to announce the GTX 1060 now according to early reports on our site we were anticipating seeing the GTX 1060 in both a 3 gigabyte and a 6 gigabyte flavor where the 3 gigabyte did not support SLI where there was a potential for the GTX 1060 6 gigabyte to support SLI but some things have changed with the final uh, announcement of the GTX 1060. First off, let's talk about what is the GTX 1060. Well, it is, again, a Pascal-based GPU from NVIDIA. It's based on the GP106 die. Again, it's 16 nanometer FinFET, but we're looking at 1,280 CUDA cores with a base frequency of 1506 MHz, featuring a boost rate of 1708 megahertz resulting in a peak compute performance of 4.4 teflops now that's exactly just under one half of the gtx 1080 which makes a little bit of sense because it's exactly half the cuda cores and slightly lower clocked on the turbo or on the boost now it does come with six gigabytes of gddr5 now it is not coming in a three gigabyte variant as far as we can tell so it looks like six gigabytes is where we're going to be at with it and it's going to be running at 8000 megahertz effectively on a 192 bit bus resulting in a memory bandwidth of 192 uh, gigabits per second or gigabytes per second just about half of what the nvidia gtx 1080s operating at now the cool thing here is it's a total tdp of 120 watts with a six pin power connector now they're not pushing it close to 150 watts this is straight up they're claiming 120 watts now the io is retaining that of the gtx 1070 and 1080 founder edition where you're looking at uh, three display ports one hdmi and one dual link dvi now again that's display port 1.4 hdmi 2.0 b now along with that nvidia are claiming that you're looking at a card that's on average 15 percent faster and over 75 percent more efficient than the closest competitive product at stock speeds and that competitive product is in fact the rx 480 as noted in the footnotes of their press release now one thing that is interesting to go ahead and point out there will be no SLI support in this for this video card now that did raise a question from my uh, from myself was okay well what about DirectX 12 and explicit multi adapter well apparently it well explicit multi adapter should support it for multi GPUs does that mean I should recommend people go out and get a pair of 1060s no no not hardly just saying that it could be possible with DX 12 now there is a mode that um, Dan Baker of Oxide pointed out as far as a linked multi adapter. It will not be able to support that because it doesn't have, an, it doesn't support XDMA like what the AMD cards support. Nor does it have an SLI finger. Therefore, you can't bridge it using the new high bandwidth bridge. Now the Founders Edition is designed by Nvidia. It is going to cost a little bit more at 299 whereas the board partner should start at 249 and should con feature the same memory configuration as well as the uh, core itself but will be clocked appropriately based on how the vendors see fit. Now the 1060 Founders Edition is crafted with premium materials and components featuring a faceted die cast aluminum body with a machine finish for strength and rigidity yada yada meaning that it's not a plastic solution like the typical uh, 60 class cards got in the past so that's actually really good now it does have a shorter PCB so it, do it doesn't have a back plate but it is nice to see that it's getting the the nice look it's getting a premium look at a fairly low cost so I mean I'll be honest the $250 price tag is quite attractive I do see some people concerned about why they even did a founders edition for the 1060 but this time around with the founders edition it is going to be a limited run according to Nvidia and only available from them so that's kind of cool I mean I guess if that's if that's your thing and you want one from them eh, no reason not to go for it now our friends over at Nordic Hardware uh, shared with us some images of the card itself and it is quite nice looking for the price bracket that it is in. It's, it's very premium. It, you know, depending, it's, uh, aesthetics are all based on how you feel about it. So I can't say whether you're going to like it or not. Now, 
the most interesting thing here is the pictures that we have with the cooler removed showing of course the shorter PCB and you can see the six one gig memory chips on there you can actually see where there could have been two more to allow for a 256 bit bus which makes you wonder if maybe we'll see something like a 1060 Ti down the road you know that's neither here nor there <clears throat> but looking at the board itself you can see the power delivery system is admittedly less than what you see with the 1070 and 1080 which is understandable it's a much lower class GPU but it looks like a 3 plus 1 power phase and it looks like uh, that should be enough for this card to be quite honest but it does look like there's room on the board to add more components which means there could potentially be a beefier version down the road but it's pretty cool here and now that's really about all we know at the moment for the GTX 1060. We do know it will be releasing on July 19th. So not too far from the time that they announced it. So that's kind of cool. But it did kind of come out of nowhere. And while we were anticipating seeing it, I didn't quite expect to see it this quick. Um, let us guys know what you think in the comments below. Uh, subscribe to this channel for more updates and launch videos and more information. And if you enjoyed the video and found it informative, go ahead and drop us a like. And we'll catch you all in the next one.